Welcome, Menno Liebritz, to the Tech Caddy podcast. Menno, how are you today? Thanks, Mike. I'm fine. I'm just fine. Thank you. All the way from the Netherlands in Europe, all across That's the water, on the other side of the world almost. Yeah. That's right. That's right. But, uh, you know, we know that golf is growing not only in North America, but worldwide. And uh, and so we've we've wanted to have more uh, guests on outside of North America. And so uh, so you've been kind enough to do that for us. Uh, your company is Golf Spot, uh, and essentially yeah. um, you are a- aggregating data, a spe- a, a specifically golfer data or customer data, from many yes. different uh, uh, systems and platforms, bringing them together, making that data, frankly, usable. There's there's so much data out there yes. that is uh, hard to use. So why don't you introduce your company a little bit to us, and then we'll we'll go through your journey and and uh, and learn you know how your customers use uh, Golf Spot today. Sure, sure. So Golf Spot, but like uh, what like what you said is is a single point of view of customer data. So uh, what we see is a growing number of applications and golf organizations need to use uh, in the past was simple you play 80 holes or you don't play 80 holes and that's it you became a member or not a member that's changing in the last 20 years at least in, in europe but i guess it's the same in the usa so uh different kind of memberships uh, you have you have different kind of booking uh, reservations uh, uh, policies uh, for different kind of player types all kind of things it's growing and big be- became different so um we see and legacy systems out there in many countries. Many countries have one, two systems that are already there for 20, 25 years. But to replace them, because that's the sometimes the need to replace a system, is that uh, if you want to replace, you cannot build that as we call it an all-one solution. So the old all-one solution uh, offer all functionality and golf organization want to use, like a membership management, uh, invoicing. Uh, reservations, tournaments, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, that are now more product specialists on the market that does the same thing only in, on only on one feature, like Golf the Genius does on the event software, like Lightspeed and T Control does on the T sheet side of things. So, and more and more systems are used, uh, and more and more connections need to be built. And it was in what we saw two years ago, no one who was um, deliver a solution for the, that, that problem that you need to have at least a single point of through of customer data that connects all the systems. So all systems also have the same customer data and not making Excel files, putting all custom data and all the systems with Excel files, because when you have an Excel file and you put it in a system, it's already outdated. If you change in the field, it's not going to change in all the systems that you use. So that's, that's, that's right. The main thing what we solve. That's right. That's right. So you mentioned two years uh, and, and you already did mention the word problem, which I think is so key to so many startups, right? You've got to, you've got to have a, a real problem to solve. Take us back to when that happened. Take us back to when you realized there was a problem. It made yeah. sense to solve that problem uh, and, and just how you got started. We have a lot of startup uh, golf people that that watch this podcast and and that kind of that moment that problem moment I think is so key for people take yeah. us back two years to how that came to be then I came st- three years ago just it was around COVID time you know that good time old time in COVID uh, I've been asked to to soft, uh, to software companies from the US and Canada to have and make an analyze to their systems for the European market in the golf product uh, uh, level uh, I'm in, in the business for 15, almost 20 years now. And uh, with the experience I had, I was being asked to make an analyze of their systems. And what I found out is the system itself is good, but they don't talk to each other. They always focus on their own product. And I'm always looking to the customer, in this case, the golf course manager. What does the golf course manager need? They need to have good systems and good systems that talk with each other. And when I found out with those giants of software companies from the US and, and Canada, I thought, okay, maybe, maybe I think that will help a lot of companies and also the golf course organization who want to change to modern and new systems that are available on the market. And 
when we validate that problem, we we found out that we solved many things for golf courses. Uh, if you know want to change now your all one system, it's a big o operation. Uh, if you have golf spot in the middle and you connect all the systems out there, and one of those systems don't doesn't work anymore, or it, or you think it can it can be better, then you only need to replace that single system, and everything else just continue with uh, uh, running this the the, the organization. Uh, we if you have golf spot in the middle, you create an open market, so everybody can choose whatever they want to choose instead of what the market is forcing you to choose a or B, A is not the best solution, B is also not the best solution, then you end off options. And uh, and when we validate that, we thought, okay, maybe this is an, uh, this is a really problem solver. And uh, uh, apparently it is because after two years, we are growing very fast. Well, that's great. Let's talk about that a little bit. So, so your customer is the golf course, correct? I just want yes, to make sure correct. that, okay. Yes. And 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 where do you sit today in terms of, you know, you can give us a rough estimate of client count, but I think we'd also yeah. be interested to know how many different countries um, you're doing yeah. business in. Yeah. So what we find out is that we we solve some problem, a global problem. So uh, we we spoke with uh, customers, potential customers from Australia, Europe, America, all over the world. We spoke, and everybody say the same thing this is a problem solver only my organization is not that big uh, as a startup so i i told myself okay keep it easy step by step so first of first of all of course our home country uh, the netherlands so we we thought we started with small nine holes golf courses but we ended up with the big names in the Netherlands, with with Bernardas, with 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 the international, all the private courses, all the commercial courses. So even that is surprising us. So we thought, okay, we, we've been interested. We are interested for the commercial golf courses, but it, we ended up also with all the private golf courses. So uh, the, the 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 number of requests uh, was enormous this year. Uh, so the Netherlands, we started. Uh, then uh, we had a request from the Belgium and the Belgian Federation to solve a problem over there as well. And now we are preparing to Scotland as well. So uh, step by step, step yes. by step. So right. brick just by brick, years. right? Brick by yeah, brick. Yeah. So Menno, you uh, you you recently did get funded. That's yeah. my understanding, which is yeah. always a. It's very exciting, yeah. and it's also yeah. such a. Um, it's it's such a confirmation, right? Of yeah. hey, what we're doing, we're you know we're on the right track, and there yeah. are people that are that are interested in us commercially uh, as yeah. well as problem solvers. Talk and, and so there's a lot of companies in America today um, that are trying to get funded. They're trying to close seed rounds. We just had one uh, company recently close a seed round. Talk a little bit about how that comes to be, how hard it is. Um, how much you have to uh, beg your aunt, you know, and your uncle difficult. and, and what not talk about that a little bit. Yeah, it's difficult because you're so independent of, of funding in the beginning. If you have a SaaS model like we have, so we, we, we must make uh, a, 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 a platform. We must invest a lot of money with the developers and you know, it's going to work, but you need to have the confirmation of an, an investor. And um, we spoke with a lot of investors. If you don't didn't play golf, they say yeah, the market is too small. I, th I thought the market is small. My market is not the Netherlands. My mark my market is global. Every single golf course operates in almost in the same way. Of course, you have some uh, you have some challenges if you go abroad to other countries. But still, my market is thirty four thousand golf courses worldwide. So my market is big enough, especially if you uh, uh, know that our uh, solution is break even after like say 400 golf courses. So um, we, it, is, it, is, it is hard to find the right investor that believes in your story and knowing the market as well. And and, 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 and it went quickly. Uh, we had some number of conversations and suddenly 
they was our our hero, a new investor, and uh, uh, yeah, we thrilled to get him on board because he is an entrepreneur who been successful in the SaaS model. So he understands that SaaS model will take you years and years to go to that point of break even. But if you reach that, then it's the, then it's the holy grail, of course. Uh, and who was who was the, the investor there? Because I didn't catch that name. Who 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 were you mentioning? Uh, I don't know if he wants to be known in that oh, way, okay. so no I, I will not mention his name, but uh, at no least problem. we are I, I, very happy at him. He's not a golfer, but he understands the model of SaaS model. So if you are in a, in, in a startup in golf, you, you, you need to have two, you have you you need to have folks on two investors. One investor must understand the golf market, then he understands your problem probably, or he needs to have a SaaS model company and he understands the logic behind that one. So, uh, so one of those you need to find out. So, so your your platform, Golf Spot, which and I and I do think your branding looks great. I think the name is easy to remember. I think you yeah. really did, you know, hit that really really well. Um, uh, you obviously are, you kind of live off of integrations, right? It, how many yes. different companies can we connect with and ingest their data, et cetera, et cetera? Um, it, from looking at your website, it looks like you actually you have many integrations um maybe a couple that, may, yeah maybe a couple that you don't have you know when you talk about the world of customer data you do tend to think of like a, a meta right yeah. or 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 maybe a a, a tick tock or or a, a an x something like that but you do have golf genius you do have light speed you do have mailchimp and i think mailchimp was interesting and of course then that made me think I wonder what other communication tools you'll you'll interface with. Talk about yeah. how hard it is to convince people to interface with you. Uh, talk about the value of these interfaces. I, I do think that that's such a core piece of your business. Yeah, that is right. So uh, we have two kind of uh, integrations. We have golf uh, integrations, uh, golf related. Let's put it that way. And you must think to uh, federations. Federations need to ha have time to understand what we do and what we solve. Uh, some federations are very uh, 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 old-fashioned. In, 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 I, I try to speak with it the good way, uh, but they they need really need to change how how they need to work. Uh, and golf software companies are really keen to work with us because if you're not on the platform, people will not choose you as a potential new software system. So we come out with golf courses a lot. And they say, if you, if you don't like this T-sheet, I want to switch as easy as possible because in the end, the market will decide what is good and not good. It, it's also better for the competition. It, it keeps you focused as a company, in my opinion. So you're not being worried, hey, my uh, 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 competitor is also on the platform. Uh, uh, maybe he steals my customer. If you have a good product, they will stay with you. They don't switch that easily, customers. So the golf software companies like... Uh, uh, event software, uh, T-Sheet, and Federation, that's the golf side of the park. Uh, the other systems is sales-driven. Nowadays, an, inter an connection is not that difficult anymore. So we build connections within a day or two days, depending on what the customer wants, because in the end, we do it for the golf organizations and not for ourselves. So we started with MailChimp. There are now many, four more coming up. Uh, uh, because I don't care where you put your data in and, and how you want to communicate with your customers. If you, you want to use Spotler or you want to use another mail program, I'm fine. That's just one day of work uh, nowadays because all the connections work in the same way in that sense. Um, what about big CRMs, uh, HubSpot, Salesforce, things like that? Is there even a need to interface with a big CRM? Talk about that a little. Yeah, of course, and CRM can be indeed a little bit different. We also uh, make an integration with Microsoft Dynamics, for example, for a customer. And so they, they have a complete workflow in Microsoft Dynamics and a real CRM thing in, in Microsoft Dynamics. Uh, and they give the data to us and we, we expose the data again to the other systems they want to use because it can be very uh, uh, for, it is really um, big number of money to make an integration with Microsoft Dynamics. Uh, and we have the integration already with, for example, uh, Golf Genius or Lightspeed or whatever. So uh, they use us as a, like more a data hub, uh, put data in our system, and we make sure we connect with the systems you want to use. Understood. That's, that's, so there's a reason why sales 
uh, a hub and a, sale, uh, a sales force and a HubSpot will also will be integrated on a, on a longer term, I guess. Gotcha. Um, you know, one of the, the more um, notable integrations you have, really you have two big ones as it relates to uh, North America. And that would be Lightspeed and Golf Genius. Maybe maybe yes. Mailchimp, Mailchimp too, actually. But yeah. um, when it, when I noticed Lightspeed on there, and of course Lightspeed has some challenges, even within the Lightspeed world, right? You know, connecting Lightspeed Golf to to Lightspeed Retail to Lightspeed Restaurant. Yes. I assume you probably help there. But is did you pick Lightspeed because they have strong penetration in the Netherlands? What you know, why Lightspeed? And I'm thinking maybe it's because there was a lot of golf courses you were talking to that are using Lightspeed. Uh, different way around. Lightspeed asked us, and we know each other. Let's put it that way. Uh, Lightspeed asked me, can we work together? Because we want to go in a market. We want to talk with the federation. They not allow us to enter the market as a commercial party. And because we are independent and we only focus again on the customer, on the golf course, we explained that to that federation. And suddenly we enter the market in that in that federation. Suddenly, Lightspeed has a new market to enter, and so we cooperate on that way with each other. I see. That's so a, you're actually solving a problem for Lightspeed uh, as well. The yeah. For example, with uh, with the Belgian Federation, they are have one system in Belgium that's really closed, uh, but more and more the customers, in that case the Belgian golf course, push on connections for the Belgian Federation, but. As you know, every golf course wants to have a different integration. That's very costable for the uh, federation. They ask us, if, if we give you your data of the golf organization, can you make the connections for them? Of course, that's my business. So we also helping not only the golf course solve a problem, but sometimes also the software company itself, because they cannot uh, connect with federation or they cannot connect easily with other systems uh, and just give the data to us and focus on your own product. That's for Lightspeed making your t-sheet better uh, and that's that's what we certainly also uh, solve i see i see well so so Menno, tell us a little bit about yourself you you mentioned you have been in golf for a while um yeah. i always think it's interesting to get the founder story and 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 that type uh, of thing. tell us a little bit about how you came up through golf well uh, a long 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 time ago when i was young i i met a girl of course and the father bought the golf course and they asked me pick up the balls on the driving range and suddenly i thought okay if i need to pick up the golf balls i can hit some the balls myself as well and that's why it was in 2000 i entered the golf market and became very very uh how do you say that uh you fell in love with the game. Golf. Yeah, yeah, the love in the game. You know, you had the needle in your arm and really being addicted to it, uh, <laughs> like the most golfers uh, has. And uh, and I've, I found my way in, in the golf industry in 2007. Uh, I started with the first job in golf, uh, uh, and and step by step, I I became more and more entrepreneur and started companies uh, before uh, uh, what I sold or, or step out like Sess Golf. I started that in 2018 as a channel manager in the golf industry. Uh, oh, Zest uh, Golf? Yeah. Zest, yeah. okay, gotcha, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, founder in that one, uh, sold my shares, and then I started in that uh, golf spot in 2023, 22, something like that. So I'm still playing golf, that's my goal. I told you before, Mike, I want to have 365 customers so I can play every single customer every day, and then I'm more than happy, I'm the more than happy. It's, you know, the Zest golf thing, I, I didn't know that, so I appreciate you uh, sharing it. Um, okay. it. It's interesting because that business also really relies on integrations, right? It and and uh, same so thing. you kind of stayed in times, Yeah, so it's just the same. It's one is three times on customer data. So it was also logic for me to stay in the same approach because I saw in that time in Zest, okay, it's, it's strange that it's uh, in, in the time 2018 when we started it, people still making phone calls and, or uh, uh, make, sending emails or faxes to, to confirm the booking uh, instead of making bookings online independent of the TCG use. So uh, yeah, it's almost the same. Uh, it's very same solution. I thought that's strange. Why don't we start it? It's the same here with goals. Strange, why isn't there? Let's start it. And then right, you need a, right. a little bit of luck. And so you mentioned that you're going you, that you're trying to break into Scotland. Uh, yeah. uh, I would assume that means you're going to talk to people like Car Golf. You're going to talk to BRS, maybe Albatross, things like that. 
Is there yeah. a nugget in Scotland that makes you feel like you can get a foothold? It's the home of golf, you know. You need, I think we need to be there. And I think we solve there something as well. And uh, the, the systems out there doing what they're doing, and I think they need to have an open market as well. I, I really believe in an open market. Let everybody choose whatever they choose. And even in, in Scotland, you have only three choices, maybe four, and that's it. I think they can do better. I need to be better. And um, and that's why I think it's a beautiful market to to enter and uh, and to be working in 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 the home of golf. It has three times more golf course than the Netherlands, and uh, I, right. I I love St Andrews. I love Scotland. So uh, 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 got it. Okay. Now in the in in North America, and maybe that's limiting. I mean, uh, and I honestly don't know if this company goes outside of North America. But certainly there's another similar company, Metolius. Are you familiar with Metolius based out of uh, the United States? Not yet? No. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Now, Metolius is, a, is, is, I would say, not exactly as customer-oriented as you are. They are also dabbling in rounds and revenue and, and, and things like that. But it is interesting that we're starting to see more of these companies come on, more of these companies that are saying the data is important. And if I yep. can help bring the data together, but then also easily consumable, I'll really yep. have something, right? And to talk yes. about how important you think it is to make the data usable and, and to make um, the data digestible. That's everything, right? The everything. So like, we, let, let's go 20 years back. You had, you had a golf course, you had 800 members, you know your members, everybody uh, knows each other. If I have 800 members, the manager most of the time was one of those members. And they say it's going great because we have eight on member, everybody's happy, and that's it. But they don't look to data, it's just a gut feeling, right? I think it's gonna be great and it will be great. But nowadays you have your tools in the software and you have your data. So why don't you manage all your decisions based on that data? I spoke with managers here in the Netherlands, they say, okay, I don't want to dis have discussions with my uh, uh, members because members say it's always crowded. I cannot book because it's always full. And if you say now it's full between 10 o'clock and one o'clock in the afternoon, that's, I'm agree, that's full. But that's only 40% of the time. The other 60% you still can book your tea time. So end of discussion. So sometimes that helps you all to, to clarify your decisions. And I think that that will be uh, uh, important because at least here in Europe, it's going to be changing. You know, it's not only 100% revenue of your members. It's also for your guest players, and that need to be in balance. And that's always a struggle for golf managers. Do do I support more my visitors because I earn a lot of money with them, or do I support my uh, members because they have an annual revenue for me? So there's always in balance, and I think data in that sense can help them uh, big times. Even private courses, private courses we have in the Netherlands as well, and they say, okay, we have now 1,200 members, but maybe we can handle 1,500 members as as the golf course is not crowded, or we can push more on, on the late afternoon. Hey, why don't we uh, accept 200 more new private members? Certainly. So, the, so every decision can be based on, on that. So yeah, it is important and more. Important. Yes. Um, now, you did mention early on, there is a, a another product, if you will, and that's membership management. It looked to me, in looking at your, your website, it looked to me like, oh, you, you're somewhat involved with monthly billing or maybe annual billing. Is that part of your revenue model that you're involved with the uh, collection of dues? Talk a little bit about your, your membership. Uh, um, no, no. It, 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 in the beginning, we were only da on data hub, and then they told me, where do I put my membership management in? Because nobody was doing that in the golf market, only the membership management. You have your life speed for T-sheet, you have your golf genius for tournaments, and then who's doing the membership management? Because it's a complex area, because you have weekly week uh, memberships, month mem memberships, you have year-round memberships, you can pay monthly, you can build uh, yearly, so a lot of options in there as well. Uh, and we thought, okay, then we may we build that as well. We create, we building that, we we creating orders, uh, as we call that, and that orders we send to accounting systems that run the invoice and sending the invoice and collecting the money. We're not in the money uh, for that sense. No, we first we focus. Can we calculate all uh, revenues correctly? And 
giving the data correctly to the, the account systems before we start sending invoice by ourselves. And then, yeah, of course, you have your payments uh, in, in between. And that can be in review in the end as well. So we're also looking what can we do, like sponsor management. We're building a sponsor management tool uh, for the customers as well, especially based uh, uh, for subscriptions as well. Uh, like the member app we have, um, they ask us, yeah, it's nice to have the best of breed, but I don't, I don't want to have an app for the T-sheet. I have an app for the Federation. I have a, an app for the food and beverage. I have an app for the Golf Genius. Why can we make one single layer on top of all those apps and, and the member only need to download one app and, 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 and it's, it is ready for them. So that's, that's well, our tools right. that we're building step by step. And so does the member download uh, a golf spot branded app or is the app branded as the golf course? No, the, the, the app is branded as a golf course. And we have okay. a, a different name for that. It's the golf dashboard app. And that app uh, we now present to the members, but a lot of golf course assets can we make an, another layer on top of that, that our members also can book tea times on other golf course. Of course, we can do that. No problem. Gotcha. So, okay. Uh, that's great. One of the we will right. Um, uh, t talk a little bit about the you know the size of your company. Is this a, re a remote company? You're using offshore developers. How how are you guys building a golf spot? No, we started. Uh, I found a development team in the Netherlands here, and that that is so, this for the first time. I build my other systems uh, uh, globally, like in uh, Ukraine or in, in in India, stuff like that. But now finally, I have a team uh, uh, nearby me. Uh, we have uh, two backend developers, one front end developer and designer. That's the development team of four. Uh, we have uh, a support uh, uh, somebody who help golf courses to success manager, uh, as we call it. And we just uh, uh, make an application for two more employees uh, helping me with the onboarding uh, of new customers. So one is just hired. We're looking still for one more. And uh, so we are a pretty small team. It's very effective. And uh, uh, again, what I said, step by step. Well, yeah, I, th I think that that's a, it, whenever that's you key, can do I it with, with neighbors, it's a, it's a big difference maker for yeah. sure. Uh, so, so let's talk. Let's talk expansion. Let's talk uh, North America, United States, etc. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is that something you would do tomorrow if given the opportunity? Like, what's? I would think you'd want to get to that big market. Talk about that a little bit. Of course, you are the, the holy grail, isn't it? You are the big ones. <laughs> so the big numbers are coming from your side. So yeah, of course. In the end, we have to focus and the goal to to to. to to go to uh, the US and North America. Uh, but again, we are for the long term, not in the short term. So we want the first uh, another year, at least another year to stabilize here in, in with all the customers. So we're still developing uh, features, um, but we are not on the point that we say, okay, now we are, you know, we are stable, but I have everything in place, not only the system, but also the team. So if we, sales is straight and then out, now I will tell something strange. Sales is not a problem for this startup because if we want, we can start tomorrow with Lightspeed in Canada. We can start with Gold Chains in America. No problem. I, I will, we will find our way with our partners. I, I'm sure. So that, that, that's not a problem. The problem is can, uh, can we have the organization that can handle those numbers that you have in North America? Uh, for now, no. Uh, and that's why we make it step by step. First, another country like Scotland, uh, maybe France or Germany. If we, that's again stable, that I think okay, that's that's we know the playing field, we know everything. Then it's time to, to go across the water, and then still it's not going there, and and we're starting directly because uh, you have also always local connections needed to start in the the, the 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 local connection with the federation, local accounting systems, stuff like that. Sometimes the food and beverage systems. Uh, but but again, I, I assuming that in the next two years we will starting in the U.S. market. Another big next market for years. us is yeah, two years. And another big market for us is Australia and New Zealand. It's also a big market, potential market for us. Yes, that that so agreed. I, that is a big yeah. one. You know, one of your integrations is T control, and I think that, that yeah. that's from the Netherlands as well. I th I've talked to him yeah. once or, once or twice before. How is yeah. T control becoming? the the t-sheet of choice in in your country 
Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. They're making also big steps. So I, I'm, I'm independent. I like everybody. I like, like I said before. So I, I have no opinion about what's a better T-sheet. I think every T-sheet can handle different things. And uh, uh, Lightspeed or Ticketol, it's depending on what kind of organization. But Ticketol in the Netherlands is growing, growing fast, fast, fast. Yes, it's, it's, yeah. it's a very extended new T-sheet. Uh, who can handle, and I'm surprising what they built in three years' time. It's really impressive what they built. In three attempts, I think they, they built uh, uh, one of the best T-sheets in the world. That's what I great. saw in, 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 in all, the, all the years. In, in, in Also with SES, we connected with all kinds of T-sheets. This is the state of the art uh, of technology and, and T-sheets on, on, uh, on the requirement of the golf courses now, not what... 10 years or 15 years back, but what they need now, very flexible, very smart build up. Um, and, and I would think another, you know, another T sheet that's growing quickly uh, in Europe is golf manager. So perhaps you'll integrate yeah. with golf manager. T tell us, I'm, no. I'm interested in your integrations. Tell us about golf dashboard, because it almost seems like that could be golf spot. Uh, but you you list golf dashboard. Tell us about that a little bit. Yeah, golf dashboard. We choose for another name because I think it's an independent name also for not members. It will be came out. So uh, uh, golf dashboard. Uh, what they can do is uh, it doesn't matter what kind of tea sheet you use. You can switch it tomorrow and it's still working. Is booking tea times, finding friends, book with your friends, stuff. Everything what it has to do with reservation, booking your burgies booking your golf sets whatever you need it can be handled there independent again from t-sheet uh, we have integration with federation so scorecards and handicapping is there we have a centralized wallet so you can use that wallet for your driving range or you can use your wallet for your food and beverage or for the shop doesn't really matter if the connection there you can use that centralized uh, amount of wallet uh, in any any system you want Understood. Uh, that, so, makes, that makes sense. Yeah. And you and you have, yeah. you have uh, Paro or Paro on there. I, yeah. I I have not spoken with them, but have followed them a little bit. But I, I mentioned them because it almost seems like as often as you can, you're going to at least have an integration with two similar companies. So Paro and Golf Genius, T Control and Lightspeed. Right. You're going to kind of yeah. uh, cover your yeah. bases a little bit, is an expression yeah. we use over here. Yeah, let's give at least the customer a choice what they want. It's not a, a, on me, it just depends. So I, I want to have more T-sheets, I want to have more uh, golf events offer. It doesn't really matter. That saying, <laughs> Tyro and Golf Genius is not the same. It's all, it calls event software, but it's not the same. You know, Golf Genius is huge. It, it does everything. It is very good, very, very uh, 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 rich of, of functionality. Tyro is much more, but for a committee-driven organization, what we have a lot in, in Europe, it's pretty easy to set up your tournament uh, stuff uh, during the year. It, it, it's, again, it doesn't really matter for me. Whatever you want, uh, we, we handle both. That, that's right. That's right. I mean, it, you, you really are living that world of, of Switzerland, right? You're trying to be as yes. independent as, as you yes. can be. Uh, and then give minute. your customer as much choice as you can. And yeah. really, the, the underlying item here or underlying theme and this is this is really where everyone in golf tends to be on one side of the fence or the other and that's the open right the open platform do you believe in yeah. open platforms so you can let technologists and consumers uh, essentially go build whatever they want or do you believe in closed platforms and certainly yeah. there are some big entities in golf that have closed platforms yeah. Uh, um, but, the but there are ones, more and more yeah. coming that are open. Yeah, yeah, the closed ones are the ones that started at least 15 years ago. They are closed because what we do is the best, and we don't we need don't need anything else. This we are the best. You know that that that's the statement what they all given. Nowadays, I don't believe that uh, anymore because it became the market, our market, the golf industry became so complex in the different kind of memberships, and again became very complex for an organization. So it isn't possible to develop all those things in one system. Uh, if you count the number of developers on a system like that, in the Netherlands, they have two, three developers for all functionalities. I already have three developers, only that small area. 
Ticotor has three. Lightspeed had multiple. I know Gold Cheese has 50, maybe already 100 developers doing only the tournament module. So, uh, yeah, you can build it, but maintain it and make innovation on your own product. I don't believe that's possible anymore. It's became yeah. too, too complex. I really agree with you on the on the the comment about the innovation. Maybe you can build it, but will you innovate on it for years no. to come? And and that I think it becomes limiting. So I would I would certainly yeah agree yeah with you because that. even I don't know what can happen in five years time and ten years. Let's let, let's go back five years. Chat TTP, nobody heard from it. Now it's became so important in our life. All those I things, it will be there. So oh, then you need to focus on that side again. And maybe if I say five years time, something else going to happen. Those those big, big all-in-one closed systems are not able to handle all those new innovations. I, I, I'm not a believer of that. I believe in the best of breed. I believe the product specialists will uh, will win and, and will be a better solution for that for everybody. So even for the golf course, if you have an open platform, if you don't like one of those anymore, if you don't like your T-shirt anymore, Tomorrow we have another T-shirt running, and your data is there, and and everything runs smoothly. So I, I think it gives you an open market, give also the customer a better feeling on the choice they make now. It doesn't really matter what you choose now, because in next year you can choose again. We have customers that started with a point of sales. After one year, they change already point of sales. That will not happen with the close ones. It, they you because then you need to replace everything, and that you are not going to do. That, that, yes, agreed, agreed. Well, listen, I, I almost, you know, it's been it's been great to to speak with you. Um, the the zest golf nugget was a great nugget to to get from you. I I, I hope we get to talk to more founders like you uh, outside of North America, frankly, because I think yeah. that that's a really important um, uh, story to be told. So when when <laughs> as you make progress, send us your press releases. We'll help to amplify your company as best we can. Our uh, approach is, tends to not ask for, we don't want money from you guys. We, we, would, we want to help amplify you. We want to help your customer. Your customer is the golf course. We want to help your customer learn as much as they can about the options that are out there. That's really cool. our mission. So, I really uh, so, like it. Well, it's great, great to speak with you. Uh, uh, best of luck. Hope you have an awesome you. summer. And uh, and and again, thanks for your time, Menno. It's it's been great. Thanks, thanks Mike. That's, uh, I really appreciate Menno it. Menno Liebritz thanks. from Golf Spot on the Tech Caddy.